Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girlfriend and we'll go back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanelungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's anything in particular that you guys want us to react to, let us know in the comment section below by dropping us a link, and we'll actually do it for you guys. We've got a second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. You guys can go there, subscribe, and enjoy our weekly um vlogs and just let us know what you want us to see the, what you want us to put out there and something that you guys will enjoy we've got a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse you guys should go check it check it you guys should go check it out uh we've got some interesting conversation you can find us on itunes spotify podbean um this channel and our second youtube channel for the visuals we also have a podcast where you guys can feel free to become members and we'll be very very grateful i wanted to give a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed so far thank you for subscribing your support is just um unmatched thank you for subscribing thank you for watching thank you for liking thank you for sharing thank you for commenting and thank you for still uh, coming with us on this journey you guys are the best wouldn't be here without you guys so thank you i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed uh if there's anything that you guys want to see on this channel let us know in the comment section below and we'll actually react to it um i wanted to say a big shout out to the person that suggested this and today i'm going to be reacting to is every non-muslim going to hell according to islam even those who know not of islam I made that. Uh, I think when I was reacting a few days back, I even wanted to ask you guys for um, uh, I made that video until we are uh, someone just read my mind somehow, somewhere, and decided to give this uh, video. So a big shout out to you. Thank you for bringing this across to us. Without wasting time, let's get into the video. Verily. The one true God, said. Whosoever chooses to follow the right path, then only he receives guidance for his own soul. And whosoever chooses to go astray, then only he goes astray, against the right path. And not will bear, a bearer of burdens, the burden of another. And we never punish until, we have sent a messenger. I'm taking religious studies courses right now so I can understand the different faiths because for a very long time I've just had so many questions about, you know, everybody says that their religion's right and everybody else's is wrong. I spent some time on the Navajo Indian Reservation in Arizona and they what I consider to have fantastic religion. They were very into nature. But you see, all the Christians and everybody else who only believes in one God is running around saying these people are wrong. Why are they wrong? That's, I mean, we don't know that. We're not going to know until we're dead. And so how can people run around saying that you're totally wrong and they're living the best life that they can and they're doing what they consider right? The Muslim is not that intolerant. You see, the, what the Muslim says is this, each one will be judged according to his or her opportunity and the background. God will not judge you and me on the same level. Everybody according to his light and knowledge. For example, to the Red Indians in the reservations, whatever their concept, what opportunities did they have? There are millions in the world today who never heard the word Jesus. You know that. But the Christians say they all go to hell. This is what the Christians say. They never heard the word Jesus. There are millions who never heard the name Muhammad. They never heard the word Allah. The Muslim doesn't say he'll go to hell. That's the difference now. What the Muslim says is that each and every one will be judged according to his capacity, his understanding, his background. Did he have the opportunity of receiving the message? So he had. Could he see? He saw. Like vivid flashes of light, truth, he saw. And yet he rejected it. Why? For certain material reasons. What will people say? Now you join the Arabs now. You join the Iranians now. Is that your consideration or is it truth? So you will be judged, I will be judged. See? Jesus Christ, you say he is a God and he died for your sins. Now says, now I reject the idea. 
Why do I reject it? What is the reason? Is it prejudice? I said, no, if I become a Christian, you know, my people will look down upon me. You know, my wife might divorce me. Is that the reason? So I'm doomed. So we are charitable in Islam. Maybe you never heard the name Muhammad. There are people, Christian priests. I had a few visiting, going through South Africa, Durban, Japanese, you know, priests with those dog collars on that I know is Christian. He's not a Shinto or a Buddhist. They were passing through Durban and somehow seeing that they were Japanese, I wanted to know where you come from. They said something like Brazil or Argentina, they were going from there back to home. So I asked them if they know anything about Islam. They never heard the word. They never heard the word Islam. I said, you know Islam? Mm -hmm. It's like Greek. I said, know what you're talking about. I said, heard the name Muhammad? Never heard it. Quran? Never heard it. I said, now God can't be that unjust to him. I said, look, you, you heard about my message, Muhammad, and you didn't receive it, go to hell. No, God, God can't do that. They never heard the term. They never, so they will be judged on a different level. You know, Jimmy Swaggart puts it so beautifully, Swaggart, beautifully. He says, you see, the closer you are, you are to the light, we can see more flaws. Huh? You are away from the light, so many of your shortcomings are covered up. Closer to the light of truth, in other words. You see, if you are, you have been everything, every little blemish is shown. So if you had access to that light, then your responsibilities are getting <laughs> greater. You're listening to the man, and he said, look, this thing makes sense. It makes sense. How can somebody die for your sins? For example, you have a headache and I take the pill. You have AIDS and I take the injections. I said, does it make sense? He said, no. It's a most nonsensical idea. That Adam and Eve, they sin, for which they're thrown out of the garden. I'm asking, is that not punishment enough? Is, not that, is that not enough punishment? You throw the man and his woman out of the garden for having disobeyed. No, it's not enough, says the Christian, that God now curses them. That from now on, you man, you must sweat for your bread, and the woman must bear children in pain and suffering, labor. Is that not punishment enough? No, says the Christian. At the beginning of 1986, we were 4.8 billion on earth, human beings. And the Christian says, everybody goes to hell. Why? Because of the original sin what Adam and Eve did. I am asking, did Eve ask you before eating the apple? He says, no. I said, did Adam ask you before eating the apple? You say, no. Then I said, how can God hold you responsible? Is he a lunatic? This God of ours, is he a lunatic? If a human being did that, we said, the guy's a lunatic. You know, making you responsible for what your great-grandfather did. We said, the guy's a lunatic. Is God a lunatic? He says, no. Then how can he make you responsible? Can you see? Now that's how the Muslim reasons. The Bible tells you clear cut language. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The one that sins is going to perish. And the Christian puts a full stop. I said, there is no full stop there. There is a comma. Why don't you complete the sentence, the verse? He says, the soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. Father Adam sinned, his children are not responsible. Neither shall the father be the iniquity of the son. He says, the righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him. Whatever good thing the good man does, he gets his benefit, the reward. And the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. Whatever you, the evil fellow does, he gets punished for it. Salvation, so, but if the wicked will turn, means repent from all the sins that he has committed and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. That is salvation. We Muslims, we say we believe in it, we accept it. You say, no, all your good deeds are like filthy rags. You will go to hell unless you believe in the blood of the Lord Jesus. So this dialogue carries on, discussion carries on. And overall, if you can see clearly that the Muslim has a point, irrefutable point, logical point, based in his Bible, based in the words of Jesus, then you have to accept it. If you don't, now your condemnation will be sure. After that, after that. Verily, those who believe, and those who are Jews and Christians, and Sabians, whosoever believes in Allah, and the last day, and do righteous good deeds, for them their rewards are with their Lord, and no fear shall be upon them, and they will not grieve. Like, share and subscribe to Create Awareness. We are also available on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and PalTalk.
uh this video was to shed more light on something that i reacted to um which was in the world that no one is more righteous than the other person just because i don't know if something doesn't mean that i'm going to miss out on heaven that's why in this world you have to be you have to think i mean we all have the same equal opportunities of finding ourselves in heaven it's up to us to do the right things in life and the right things that god wants us to do and acknowledge otherwise i enjoyed watching this like i said i love i mean did that videos and thank you to the person that suggested it if there's any more i mean did that videos i mean did that videos that you guys want us to react to or i react to let me know in the comment section below and i'll actually do it for you guys make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video